like these international tourists, our dollar's on the move. It's falling in value against the greenback, giving these visitors more purchasing power. I haven't really worried about money as much because the exchange rate is so good for us. So we're always going, oh, that's not so expensive. You know? <laughs> it did make us feel a little bit uh, more eager to spend while here. So we're into Grey Street. Melbourne tour operator Fiona Sweetman is also happy to see the Aussie dollar fall. For our business it's huge. The um, US market is our largest international market, or the North American, and uh, so the dollar value for them is going to really be an enticement to come here. The Aussie battler has been on the slide. From 71 US cents in January, it's now almost 10% lower at 64 US cents. We think that there is a risk that the Aussie dollar falls through 60 cents in the next uh, month or so. And that's not good news for coffee importer Joseph Tawil. He brings in beans from 25 countries and pays US dollars for all of them. And you start thinking now, OK, is this the low? Is it going to get lower? Or is this the low now and will we see a rebound in the Aussie dollar? Uh, but it's something you've got to take in consideration um, when, when looking forward. Almost 99% of our coffee is imported. So if businesses are paying more to buy raw beans, Australians could soon see the cost of their daily brew rise. It's definitely adding to the cost of coffee, the landed cost of coffee. And obviously, as an importer and distributor, we do pass that on. Joseph has been able to offset the higher cost by paying less for beans and shipping and locking in contracts at certain prices in the future. So my attitude is always, you don't want to be any worse off than you are today. So maybe you should, you know, we, we start hedging um, and, and taking some cover. B bit like insurance, you know. The dollar has been under pressure from higher interest rates in the United States, making their currency more attractive. On top of that, less demand from our biggest trading partner. The Chinese economy is very weak and we're not seeing a lot of support from the Chinese authorities. There's winners and losers. In the early 2010s, our dollar was worth more than a US dollar. It was driven by a mining boom, but contributed to the death of our local car industry because it made our exports more expensive. The biggest losers from a weak Aussie dollar are people about to go on an overseas trip. It costs them more. But the biggest impact could be at home. Paying more for imports drives up inflation, putting pressure on interest rates and the cost of housing. For businesses that ride the dollar, this is just another curve on a long roller coaster. Hidden Secrets has been around the changing dollar for a long time. Uh, as some people have said, it used to be dollar ten. It'll change and fluctuate. We need to manage our businesses as changes happen. So uh, we've done pretty well in the last three, three years. We're ready for the next one. Nothing stands still.